perfect sailing conditions once more for day five of the Louis Vuitton regatta in Nice. The match between Emirates Team New Zealand and the Artemis Syndicate from Sweden pitched two former teammates against each other. Artemis helmsman Terry Hutchinson was the tactician for Kiwi skipper Dean Barker, enjoying success together as Louis Vuitton Cup winners at the last America's Cup in Valencia. Now they're rivals on the water. Barker had the upper hand today, winning the start and taking the left-hand side of the course. The move paid dividends and Emirates Team New Zealand led at every mark all the way round the track. While the Swedish team is star-studded, the Kiwi outfit has been together for a long time and the benefits of that bonding is very evident. This was their fifth straight win and they stay undefeated at the top of the points table. Britain's Team Origin and the BMW Oracle Racing Team from America are two of the biggest hitters in this Louis Vuitton regatta and this match was much anticipated. The split tack start saw Team Origin looking slow off the line but there was sound reasoning behind their move. The British reckon there was more wind out to the left and that's where skipper Ben Ainsley and his tactician Ian Percy opted to head. It was the right decision. BMW Oracle Racing's Gavin Brady spent the race looking at Origin stern as the British boat rounded every mark ahead. By the final run, Team Origin had a very comfortable lead and went on to seal their victory by more than two minutes for their fourth successive win. The Bay of Angels off Nice offered great viewing for those lucky enough to be in the spectator fleet for the match between All for One and Synergy. Both yachts had dived deep into the start box and then weaved away around the spectator boats fighting for the best position. It was the Russians who got it. Their skipper Karol Jablonski outmaneuvered Sebastian Kohl on All for One who found himself far too early for the start but with nowhere to go to kill time. Realising his mistake, Cole tried to turn back to recross the line and in so doing clipped the stern of the committee boat. It kept getting worse as Cole then found his way back blocked by Synergy flying onto the course right on time. The virtual eye animation highlighted Cole's dilemma, the Russians trapping the Frenchman in the corner and hemmed in by the start line and the committee boat. Karol Jablonski was now in total command of the race and despite their best endeavours, all for one could make no inroads into the Russians' lead. Italy versus Russia proved to be a tight fight early on, with Synergy skipper Jablonski having a slight edge over Azura's Francesco Bruni. But the Italian and his crew combined smoothly to squeeze past the Russians. Once in the lead, Azura never looked back. Bruni's intense concentration paying off.